hopefully you just got a chance to watch me cut off the five control boxes and in the background I was getting the mill set up. I broke down the index head, um, slid the vise over so I'm actually underneath the work area and I went ahead and swept that in so I know that uh, my vise jaws here are square with the table and with the bit so when I slide back and forth I'll be making good straight cuts. Um, so now that we have these guys cut up I'm going to go ahead and start shaping them getting them cut down to the correct sizes so that we can uh, make the control boxes out of them. So to square these off, i got a bit that's big enough. This will actually get, I went ahead and pulled off the uh, old control box that just held on with 632 screws, so it's actually fairly easy. And uh, this is the one I, I broke a tap off in there. I was trying to dig it out and uh, really just kind of made a mess out of this. Luckily, this is the underside that you'll never see, but I never get the tap out and now there's just a screw hole missing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use this guy to go ahead and clean up these guys and get this uh, cut down to the right size all the way around and uh, probably even get this groove in. Then I'll switch to a half inch mill. I'll cut this out and then I've got a little slotting cutter and uh, it's actually for doing little tiny wood roof keys but it actually worked perfectly for cutting this little slot in here so that you can slide the, the brass portion in. This is actually uh, steel that I'd cut out and actually just glued in place. It's held in there with uh, just some JB Quick Weld. Hopefully that's the only piece that actually has to be glued on. And that's only because I hadn't really figured out a good way to put it on, you know, positively affix it without, you know, start getting these guys squared up, cut off, and cut to size. time to actually do the shaping. I'll be starting off by taking down the sides so that I can get this piece here in. Then I'll go ahead and uh, cut down the center this way. I'll uh, then cut these little grooves here. And then I'll go ahead and finish off milling this out. I'll probably actually mill it out a little bit bigger, a little bit more square. So this I think I actually just did with a half inch mill and uh, kind of got a general sizing for it. Um, what I'll probably do is a, a smaller, maybe a quarter inch mill or something. That way I can get, still have rounded corners, but I'll get closer to the edges and stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and go start setting up for that.
ahead and swap out this big uh, guy out with this guy here. He's a he's a half inch. Seven point six cube tenths. <clears throat> see, we can see it looks looks like it's dead center, so Take those over to the vise and get them deburred, which will cut out the little slot for the little circuit board section to go into. Okay, so we've got these uh, five guys here cut up, and I got some uh, little 632 screws that I'll, I'll use at least to, to start with. I may actually pick up some real machine screws, the ones I have are these here, which are really just, they're wall plate screws. Um, they work really well in the Stormtrooper helmets, and uh, that's why I actually have a large number of them.
So I may actually go and pick up some uh, either stainless or just some plain steel machine screws that would have a, just a little bit different look. I mean, it'd still be nice. These ones are, aren't bad. It'll go down. They'll definitely be a flathead. And it's, you know, something that gets covered up anyway. So really, who cares that much? Um, but it'd still be nice, you know, open that up, look in there. Looks uh, like machine parts rather than, why is that white? So we'll see how it goes. On another note, I picked up uh, it was a quartz necklace on Alibaba. It was made out of these uh, green quartz. I pulled them off the necklace. They're really low grade and kind of rough, but have a cool natural look to them. I ended up with quite a handful of them. I was trying to think of something to do with them. And I, I was thinking maybe something like this, so that when you pull this out, it's in there like that. Um, it'd be cool to have it lit, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. I may actually uh, just come up with a way to lightly mount this in there like that, and then if somebody wants to, then they would be able to, to light it. This would just screw in like that and come out and be the crystal. Possibly. Let me know uh, what you think. It'll be uh, our little secret <laughs> for the people that actually watch the videos. I think I have uh, four total viewers. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. Like. Uh, share these videos. Share them with anybody that you think might like to see them. Um, you know, I, I'm doing these mostly for myself, and uh, so I can go back and look at it. I'm also doing it so that you guys can actually see the process and, you know, what I've actually done to go through and build these lightsabers. Um, something that, you know, if you purchase one, then you can actually go back and look at the video. You can save that video and you can show other people and use it as, a, hey, I, I know exactly this cut right here was at this minute of this video. I could, just, eh, whatever. Um, but seriously, though, though uh, like, share, um, trying to get some viewer content up, you know. I'm going to try to continuously uh, post videos as, as much as I can. Um, probably not as proliferant as I have been. I'm actually going to start to slow down, take a little more time. Uh, try to produce a little bit more watchable videos, and I'll probably even go back and recut a lot of the uh, older ones. Um, I know making this one part here, I think, was my longest video, and it's the smallest part, so... <laughs> try to get that kind of stuff fixed up. All right. Um, but for now, that's the end of the boxes. The next step is going to be uh, machining a flat on here that'll line up with one of these... Um, I think it actually should line up with the center line of this area here so that this will screw on here. But I'll machine out a flat that's just wide enough for this guy to stick into here. Then we'll uh, transfer these holes, drill and tap them, and then they'll be able to screw in with these screws. Alright, excellent. See you in the next video.